everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And you are tuned in for a new segment. This is my fashion tip segment, and this was inspired by one of my viewers named Sharon Warren. Hi, Sharon. Thank you so much for the idea of doing the styling videos on how to style an item multiple ways. So we're going to work with what we already have in our closet, guys, because we're taking a break from thrifting, just a little bit of a break. And so using what I already have, these are all thrifted items. We're going to style several different looks from this main staple piece, which is are these wide leg pants. Now I thrifted these, they're like flowy, they have a lining, flat front, zipper on the side, very flattering look. Now you may be wondering, how tall are you? I'm five seven and three quarters. Maybe you weren't wondering that, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm five seven and three quarters. Almost, I just always say five eight. I always round up. But if you're on the shorter side, you may be thinking, I don't know if a wide leg pant will work for me. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you can wear a maxi dress, then you can wear wide leg pants. They just need to be tailored to fit you. Make sure you have them hem properly for your height and then make sure that you use the right proportions on the top to balance out your overall, you know, proportions of your body. So we're going to go with the wide leg pants. If you have a wide leg pants in your closet, hopefully this video will be helpful to you. And if you do not, maybe you'll be inspired by this video to go out and purchase some wide leg pants. So, what are we working with here today to style our wide leg pants? We got some really nice accessories going on, some handbags, some shoes, and then we're gonna accent with jewelry because all of your accessories tie in that overall look. But I wanted to pull first by the colors that are in the pant, which are black and white. So of course we're gonna go there and then we're gonna throw in a splash of color. And you know my favorite color is red, but you can use whatever color you'd like uh, to throw in there. Turquoise would look good, yellow, you name it, whatever. So I've got a basic white top that I think would go gray. This is White House Black Market, tie in the front. Now I know it's a little bit long and a little bit weighty on the bottom and so are the pants, but because it's white, maybe I'll give it a lighter look and if I put a heel with it, I'm thinking this may work. Everything is trial and error. Have fun when you're experimenting with fashion. That's what it's all about. Then I have this black solid peplum that I think would work. I like the peplum look. I think that would work with the wide leg pant. A crop top will definitely work with a wide leg pant. Not sure about this pattern, but because it's black and white and pants are black and white, I'm thinking maybe it'll work. The fabric is a little weighty compared to the weight of the fabric of the pants. But this may be hit or miss, guys. Not sure about this look, but I do know proportion-wise a crop top would look great with that pant. So let me slow down. I'm just on a roll. I'm like talking like I don't have any time left. But these are two basic white t-shirts that I think will work. And I think um, any type of denim jacket would look good as a throw over for that look. And that is what I have from my closet to style. Now I'm going to show you what we're working with with the accessories. Then we're going to try to tie all of that together and give some really nice looks. So stay tuned. All right, guys, these are some of the jewelry that I pulled out from my cabinet just so you can see what I'm working with. I've got some wooden jewelry that I'm thinking I want to style with the pants to, for a more ethnic tribal type feel. Then I, these are some of the rings that I have to work with. I definitely want to use this white one that's kind of like a shell. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear that one. I just really like it. I got that at TJ Maxx. A lot of my jewelry I did get at TJ Maxx. I used to thrift or I should say shop there a lot. And then I have these here with the black and white designs that I think may work. Maybe this plain silver one will work. These are some of the bracelets that I got. Now these two I also got at TJ Maxx. They're leather with the uh, links on them in gold and silver. And I have the hoops that I think would work with those depending on which one I wear. And then this one I, is pizzazz jewelry, I think. $5 at like a jewelry party that I went to. So those are the jewelry pieces that I'm gonna be selecting from. Now let's take a look at the shoes and purses. 
All right, for accessories as far as belts and purses, I do have this belt that I thrifted. This is a suede red belt with the gold detailing. I love this belt. It's a wide belt, so I think it'll work well to accentuate the waist. And then we're gonna be styling with this Botkir red handbag. It's a small bag, which I think proportion-wise will work well with the wide leg pants. So we'll be doing that. And then for an alternative, definitely going with this kind of doctor style satchel here. This is a Barney's New York that I thrifted. I love this bag. I've gotten a lot of use out of it since I thrifted it about a year ago. Now shoes wise, we're working with, these are some uh, Mark Fisher wedge heel shoes that I got at DSW. The Bart Keir sandals, which I think will look great. And then of course my mix six, I got those at DSW for a more dressy look. So those are the shoes we're gonna be working with. And let's go ahead and start putting these looks together, the best part. Well, here's the first look. Not a successful look as far as material and fabric go. I don't think they work well together. The flowiness of the pants is a little too light for the heaviness of the top, but what does work are the proportions. So a crop top with these wide leg pants really do look nice. Just need a different fabric for the top. For this second look, I think this works much better. It's a nice proportion and balance. This time I just have a black tee with a scoop neck tucked into the pant. And I think this looks really clean and stylish. And I still have my Mark Fisher wedges on. Just a simple, clean look. But I think it works a lot better than the crop top. What I think would add a little bit of pizzazz to this outfit is pairing this red suede belt with it. I think this is just going to tie the outfit together very nicely. It gives it a pop of color while accenting the waist and kind of cinching in the waist and drawing your eye to the smallest area of your body. And I just think it gives the overall outfit a tied together look. Now we're going to change the shoes uh, now that we've paired it with this red belt. I think it'll look great with those Botkir red sandals. Now this is the look with the denim jacket added and I have changed the shoes. We wanted to add a little pop of color and I think these shoes go nicely with the belt that I'm wearing. But I just like this overall look of this denim jacket with these wide leg pants. It's a nice casual look and I just think it adds a little bit of flair. We're going to pop this collar for a little bit of extra style. We're going to give a side turn and pose. Yes, that's how we work it when we add pizzazz to our outfit. But I just love this overall look. I like where the jacket hits at the waist so I'm going to walk in for you so you can see the belt and I think all we need now is the right handbag to go with this look well I got a little warm in my denim jacket so I removed that and I grabbed this nice black satchel this is the Barney's New York satchel and remember your accessories don't have to be matchy matchy just because my shoes and belt are red doesn't mean my purse has to be but this bag goes well with the outfit for this third look, I just switched the tops. I kept the red shoes on and added this White House Black Market white top. I like how it ties in the waist, so that's another way to accentuate the waist without wearing a belt. And it has a little bit of ruching in the back. And I like the way that it balances out. Remember, fashion is art, and art is all about balance. And so this top balances nicely with the wide leg pant and it cinches in the waist for an overall classic business type look. Now this is that look with the accented red purse, which goes very nicely. I took off the strap and we're carrying it just as a handbag, but this is just a nice accent of color for this look to tie it all together. Now for look number four, this is my style. I really love black. Black is my favorite color and I like the way this peplum looks. Once again, it's all about balance and this peplum 
once again accents the waist and it just balances out the top with the bottom portion very nicely and I like the added detail along the neckline and the shoulders it just gives it a very dressy and pull together look and I paired it with this kind of bedazzled bracelet that I got from Pizzazz Jewelry for five dollars so yeah you can look nice and not spend a lot of money just like this look now let's pair some accessories with this see what we can do as far as handbags go so to pull this look together, I've added this nice clutch that is bedazzled. This is a White House black market clutch that I thrifted, of course. And I just like the way that it goes with the pairing of the peplum. It just looks so classy and stylish. And this little clutch holds a lot. It's very roomy and it'll be perfect for a night on the town. For look number five, I have decided to go with the all white on top with this V-neck t-shirt, white V-neck tee, and this white denim jacket. I think this denim jacket works nicely because it's cropped, and like I said before, that cropped look balances out the wideness of the pants at the bottom. And I added the red belt once again with the gold detailing. Kind of pop this collar so I can show off these gold hoop earrings for you which is pulling out the gold in the belt. And along with that, I have this red leather bracelet with the gold chain detailing. For the final touch on this look, I've paired this red bot care handbag, but I've attached the red strap with it to give it a more uniform look. And it's just the right size, especially if you're doing a little bit of sightseeing, maybe you're going out to lunch. This is just a cute little handbag to have. And that ties the whole look together very nicely. For look number six, I've paired these wide leg pants with the black Mark Fisher wedge heel sandals and this nice black obi belt which wraps around the waist and ties in the front. Along with that, I have on this black t-shirt which you've seen me wear previously and for the jewelry, I have on this necklace that has these wooden animal carvings around it along with these wooden earrings. All of this together gives this outfit a very nice ethnic feel which I like. And finally, for look number seven, I call this the lazy look. If you don't wanna put much thought in your outfit, just throw on some sandals and a black tank top and you're ready to head out the door. Don't forget whatever earrings you'd like to wear. And please stay tuned for the still photos and a bonus look for a total of eight looks. on my channel. I hope you got some tips and some inspiration, maybe got some do's and don'ts as far as putting outfits together, putting different looks together with one item out of your closet. I really enjoy doing this, guys. You know how much I love fashion. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Tell me what I could tweak about this segment to improve it, to make it better for your viewership. And um, I love you all. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the Noble Strength family. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.